you can't imagine it. it it's something you have to see and, and the power of it. Sandy, the storm that wasn't a hurricane, considered to be the most damaging in Long Island history. We thought we were safe here, and we weren't. Sandy was huge. The entire island, very rare, got clobbered from this storm. The storm was more than a thousand miles wide at one point. It came towards Long Island, then made a left turn towards New Jersey, and the winds, the size of the storm, pushed a wall of water ahead of it. And it's the water, the surge, the ocean and sound water that caused the damage. The damage was incomprehensible, historic flooding and beach erosion like no one had witnessed before. For so many, the loss was simply too much to bear. I've had enough. My nerves are shot. I just can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. 13 Long Islanders died during the massive storm. Major roadways and airports were shut down. MTA bridges and tunnels were closed. The railroad was suspended. 90% of the island lost power. Entire neighborhoods were destroyed. Countless businesses underwater. Nearly $65 billion in damages. It's hard to explain because no one's ever witnessed this kind of water before. Not on this street. The Seahorse Gift Shop here on the Nautical Mile in Freeport, one of countless businesses whose owners spent months drying out, cleaning up, and rebuilding. It is now a decade later, and you can still see homes that were damaged in that storm under renovation. The water went over the car, over the minivan, and up the porch, and into the house. James Hodge is finally back in his Long Beach home. He says he can't believe how long it took to rebuild. It was a long, exhausting journey, and he's always worried about the next time. I believe it's not if, but it's just when, and it's how prepared we are for the next one. I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV.